It's me, your boy, and as the title of this video would suggest, you're here to learn how to build a recording slice mix template in Adobe Audition. We're going to be focusing on a modern recording template today, so we're just going to go ahead and jump right into this. Hope everybody's having a great day so far, by the way. So, alright, so let's move that out of the way. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a new multi-track session. We are not going to start with the template. We're just going to go with none here. <clears throat> and we're going to name this recording template. This is also a crucial step right here is that you save it um where your templates actually are it ended up that way so there we go so there's in templates there's all my stuff so um that's where i'm going to um that's where we're going to save this to so it'll actually show up in your template options once you all right so first comes first what we're going to do is we're going to add three stereo bus tracks so one two And three. All right, so I like to do is actually have these up above the first track. Uh, so, okay, so let's go ahead and just name these. So this will be the recording bus. This will be reverb. And this will be delay. Now, what I usually like to do once everything's finally set up, which I'm actually just going to take them out for now. So I usually hide the the buses using that little track the options, which you can find in here in window track. So, all right. So let's go ahead with the first track. Eh, let's actually name it instrumental. So we got instrumental. Then what we're gonna do is go up to tracks and I'm gonna insert four mono audio tracks because recording is done in mono with a standard condenser microphone. So All right, so we've got this four monitors and, and it's one way to easily identify them as stereo audio tracks. So I'll have this button right here, the sum to mono, and of course mono won't. So, all right, so we have that as an instrumental track. I usually always set that as yellow or purple, so it's easy to see. We're going to do it with yellow in this one. Um, I just go down and name them corresponding as recording tracks. All right, and let's go ahead and hide these other tracks. It's useful to have the spare tracks, but not necessarily to have them clogging up in the session. So what then I'll usually do is go down and set the colors as red, because usually recording is red. It makes the, the waveform file initially red too. And I feel like it's as easily recognizable as that. And then I'll go to the recording bus and I'll set that as red too. So it's kind of like the the, co the the colors correspond to the routing. So for each one of these tracks, and there I, I could have probably just done this and duplicated these tracks, but I feel like it's more, if you watch it getting done several times over, you'll kind of see, um, it'll make more sense or easier to, to um, interpret what I'm doing here. Okay, so basically what I did here... Um, Okay, so I need to set these input puts right as well, just for my mic. It, just whatever is your mic, it's usually going to be a mono input, and boom. I actually have two mics hooked up right now, so there's going to be two options for me. Um, okay, I need to set that up. All right, so, and then I went through and basically put the out the output routing as recording bus for each one. So what that does is basically, once, once we're... we're in here, here like, like this, this so, so now, now we're, we're pushing, pushing 
any of whatever, whatever anytime, anytime we do, we do this, this we're pushing it through to that as opposed to it just going to direct mix so what this can do is this is where we put our our live effects chain so an example i'll put on my main recording chain here and show you so and, and then, then hey, hey we got, got live yay in an ideal situation, situation would, would be setting, setting that up to where it's, it's actually, actually routed right out. So I'll show you how to do that now. So this, so this is going, going here. Let's just return, return to this. I'm actually, actually going to put something in here just to pump up, up the volume. volume. There, there we go. go. All, All right. right. So, so. I need to remember I have both mics on just for recording. Um, so what we're going to do from there is take the recording bus and go to this up here. My The, the, the sends, it's the third over from the top, this button right here. And so for send one, we're going to go down to where we, we made that reverb bus before. And we're going to hit zero. So, and then we're going to go down here. It can be a little bit, a little bit finicky, but there is, there is a little scroll wheel right here. So you have 16 sends per track. Uh, I didn't actually see that for a long time working with Audition, so good good thing to note. So, okay, and then we're going to send that to the delay bus. It's amount zero. Okay. So then from there, we're going to go ahead and reveal those buses again. Let's go ahead and set them as colors. I've always thought reverb gives a blue vibe for whatever it delays is the, a green vibe. Um... I usually always set this as purple, and it's I I call it good practice to rename this master down here because that's what that is. That's the master output channel. So okay, so we got our reverbs and our delays. So as with most things, you want to EQ your um, reverb and delay, of course, as coming into the, so it it just stops all your headroom and just space in the mix getting taken up. Um, I'm actually going to load one of my presets here, which, by the way, I'll have a vocal sauce audition here put together very shortly and available. Um, DM Audition Addiction on Instagram um, or at The Real Lucrative, and uh, we can hook you up with the presets. So I'm going to go ahead and lo load my reverb preset here. All right. And I'll show you what I mean by that. Like, I have it just, just the mid-range, so when this reverb is being responded to the only the only uh, frequencies that are making it through are the are the mid-range frequencies i'm actually going to turn that chorus off though because I, I i know how this truthfully sounds so it also might not be a bad idea to crank that down now for delay um you'd want to do the same thing one um an eq that is stock in adobe audition that works live is is this eq here so you can kind of follow those same. I'm gonna actually turn that off. Follow that same uh, idea here, and just cut the lows and the the highs down, and just until you just just have the mid range there. All right. So eh, we could use the built in delay. Not a lot of people um, know about the fact that this could be used live. So. Uh, I know Nightmare that no, it'll ring out. Um, <laughs> call Kaifu, but it's called called Cthulhu. Okay, so let's go ahead and arm another track and then get Now you see the idea. So what this does is it it gives you control. I will. Ha I do actually have presets available right now. If you're just looking for like lead vocal presets, like I could actually go ahead and demo some of those. Um, let me cut off the mic on here so I can just. Yo. Okay. Harmonizer. Let's go back into here. Yeah. Yeah. 
you know, just turn on a little bit, yeah, um, let me see what it, I'm a fan of this as a lead vocal preset a lot. It goes well with this reverb. Yo, yo, what up? It's Luke to the man. Yeah. Huh. Slap on a delay. We gon' delay. I don't know. It's, just, it's, it's interesting. It's fun. Um. So anyway, yeah, that's setting up a modern rap template. This is a... Uh, Really, the basis is the same template I use every day to record my vocals. So, um, yeah, if you're interested in actually obtaining the template, I'll have a link or just go ahead and message the uh, Audition Addiction on Instagram. It's got the same logo on here. And um, I can actually, I'll have the whole template and everything packaged up as well. So, again, um, might as well just go ahead and sign off in a proper manner. I appreciate you. It's the first video on the channel. Any viewers that are watching this, anybody that learned anything from this, I hope it could have been helpful. Um, I'm going to have just a bunch more videos just iterating on what's going on in this aspect. So let's look forward to that. All right.